of surgical designs and I just want to go through our uh, new MIS uh, minimally invasive spinal fusion kit uh, called True. Uh, the kit comes pre-sterilized in uh, disposable packages. Uh, this right here is our screw. We have our cap sets, our rod sets, and then there are two instrument sets that come with this. This is our basic set for open, and this is our complementary set for MIS. The uh, workflow for the procedure, we have a, a unique instrument for our K-wire delivery, or guide wire delivery. This is our pedicle prep instrument. Um, it would be used very similar to a jam sheety needle. Uh, you would, you would uh, do fluoro guidance um, in order to place this. Uh, very similar to what I'm doing here. Once you're in place with this instrument, the instrument actually has a groove in the side for the delivery of a guide wire. So guide wire delivery is very simple. It comes down in as you rotate back out. And keep just light downward pressure. The uh, guide wire slips right into place. So with the guide wire in place, we have side-loaded, side-loaded cannulated needles or cannulated screws. As you can see here, our screws come with a, uh, a cannulated hole and a um, uh, off-axis groove, which allows for simple delivery of the screw down to the pedicle. And what this allows is uh, to initiate the screw placement. Two or three full rotations really allows the screw to get in place. And then the K-wire comes back out. And that allows for final screw placement. I'm going to go ahead and open up the convenience kit here and put our torque handle on to allow for the full delivery of this screw. Our screws are uh, double lead threaded for ease of insertion. And then for removal, we simply take the uh, purple cap on the top of the screw and that exposes a polyaxial uh, free spinning uh, breakaway shaft that sets the torque for our caps. So that was the first screw and now we'll come back in and do placement for our second screw. Again, placement of the K-wire down and in, keep nice downward pressure, allow the uh, K-wire to seat, and then the second screw placement comes in place here, I'm going to need to take a close look there, again about three rotations here allows our threads to get well seated. And then also allows for easy removal of our, our K wire delivery wire. And again, removal of the cap, retaining cap, and then the delivery shaft comes right off. For our at this point, we'll put in our caps. 
and our caps here. Uh, again, in the sterile tray. We're going to be delivering our caps back over our polyaxial breakaway shafts. And we'll put both of those in place. Simple delivery. I'm going to orient the axis of these so that the uh, um, these are long ways and what this will facilitate is our rod delivery. We'll be using this as a guide for our rod delivery as we bring these between our caps for our final assembly. And the assembly of our rod to our rod delivery handle again is a simple operation. We're going to load that into the handle itself and then there's a retaining wire that's going to come down and in and we'll lock that into place with a simple quarter turn. Okay, and then rod delivery, very similar to other systems on the market, be using a similar motion of bringing the rod down uh, in parallel with the breakaway uh, shaft and then angling that back over and then uh, bringing that down in between the uh, uh, two um, screw breakaways. From there, uh, we'll be delivering it. We'll uh, screw down the um, the caps down on top, and with that, I'm using one of the instruments out of the convenience kit. And that simply screws down here, and again on the uh, inferior cap, we'll bring that down into position. I'm going to bring those. Just snug, okay, and then uh, with a little wiggling motion, I'm going to pull the retaining portion off of the first, and I'm going to tighten that down just a finger tight, and then I'm going to bring my rod delivery handle out. So I'm going to take my quarter turn here. My release wire is going to come out. This handle will be removed. Um, and then I'll, I will pull my second cap delivery here. Again, another uh, light tightening motion, finger tight. At this point, I will probably do a, a, a fluoro and check my construct to make sure I'm all aligned. Any final motions. And then after final motions are in place, I'm going to come in with my final tightening handle. And I'm going to break away my rods to set the torque on the construct. Get it in final position. Rotate here. Yeah, if you can hold that, that would be terrific. And that's breaking the, my shaft away. Break my shaft away. The first screw and break away on my second. And bring both of those up. That's the end of this video. Great.